Wanti yo baba Mili mani yo wana wana Bari ya mati Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If I say hotep, you say hotep, hotep. hotep. If I say assalamu alaikum, you say walaikum salam, assalamu alaikum. If I say nagadef, you say mangi fi, nagadef. If I say somole, you say ebeje, somole. If I say kairadron, you say kairadron. Kairadron? If I say hola, hola. Como estas? Hola. If I say yo, what's up, Fillmore? What's up? We give back this afternoon for this wonderful occasion. We're here to continue the blessing of Powell's Place that each of you have brought your spirit, your energy. We are. We have prayer. We call down the Most High. We always give honor and praise to God, and we say Amen. Amen. We give praise in this moment to our ancestors. From whatever community we come from, as we're represented here today, and particularly as African Americans, we honor, we revere, we recognize, we remember our ancestors. We remember the people who's on, on whose shoulders we stand. We remember through libation. And so today, the symbol of the libation is the drum and the music that we played together. When you clap, you became part of the music. As we make this libation, Libation is a real simple thing. It's simply an affirmation. I need everybody's attention just for a moment. We need everybody's attention just for a moment. Stop the conversation. We're doing something important. That we put this libation is in the tradition of our people. So our children need to understand that when you come, it's just like when you come to prayer. You don't talk during prayer. When you pour libation, you are saying, we recognize you. We remember you. We don't forget. So we use a little bit of water and we pour it to the four cardinal directions and the word we're going to use collectively today is Ashe. Just practice one time, say Ashe. It's a word from our Yoruba tradition in West Africa which simply means let it have power, let it have force. When the preacher says something you like, you say amen. It's the same feeling. So this morning or this afternoon we pour libation to the four cardinal directions to the north, to the south, to the east and to the west, and we say, I say. We invite our ancestors from the ancient times to come and be with us in the Nile Valley, those first creators of civilization, creators of writing systems and mathematics systems, creators of family life, probably the first restaurants. In that ancient time, we say, I say. We put our libation to remember them because they did great things. And we have to remind our children that every generation has to do a little bit better than the last generation. That when they have trouble in school, remind them, your ancestors created mathematics. Your ancestors created writing systems in Egypt, because Egypt is still in Africa. Last time I checked, it was still on the continent. They want to make it the Middle East, but it's Africa. And we say, Ashe. We fall libation for the people in the Niger Valley, people in the Gambia River Valley, people in the Mississippi Valley, people in all of the great river civilizations. We say, Ashe. We fall libation today for the Native Americans on whose land we stand, for the Lakota and the Choctaw, for the Ohlone and others. We say, Ashe. We fall libation for our Chicano brothers and sisters on whose land we stand. They didn't move across the border. The border moved on across them. This is California, is Mexico. So we say Ashe. We pour a libation today for our Asian brothers and sisters. They came and they built railroads. They cleared the land. They irrigated the crops so that we might eat. And we pour a libation for all their contributions and we say Ashe. We pour a libation for Europeans of goodwill. Whenever they were in battle with us, you know, those, after, those white folks like John Brown, that's what I'm talking about, who helped us. We say Ashe. We pour this libation particularly for those great Africans and those great people all over the world who knew how to cook food. For grandmamas who let us eat off the, not the hop, not the top of the hog, not the, you know, the top side, but chitlins. Hog moms. Hot water cornbread. 
Black Eyed Peas, yeah. Collard Greens, Turnip Greens, Amen. Whole Cake, <laughs> Scraps off of somebody else's table so you can be strong, so you can be healthy, and so you can go to Fitz, Amen. and Howard, and Stanford, and Cal Berkeley. For those great grandmamas, we say Ashe. Ashe. For grandfathers who stood on the bottom, black bottom 40 in Louisiana, South Carolina, Texas, Bakersfield, Fresno, in the Fillmore, for daddies who knew how to be daddies. Had three and four jobs. Black men who were men, not just sperm donors, but men who took care of their babies, who treated their women with respect. For those men, we say Ashe. For members of the Power family, going back as many generations as they can call the name. Just call some names from the Power family. Emmett Power, we say Ashe. Other names from the Power family. Anybody? Adam, Adam. We say Ashe. Any other names from the Power family? And we say Ashe, and just call out all the names of anybody who ever ate at Powell's place, who's an ancestor. Anybody who ever came here for a meal, just call the names out. Call the names out. Call the names out. Come on, y'all know the names. You know y'all moms and daddies was eating over here. Come on, call the names out. Call the names out. Call the names out. Ernestine, All right, for all those other ancestors whose names we might not remember, but they dwell in our hearts. We remember them not just during the shortest month of the year, but every day of the year. Black History Month ain't about 28 days, it's Black History Year. 365, 24-7, learn your history, know your ancestors, and we say collectively three times, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe.